what? Today we're going to be treating an ash tree for a client. Um, we're taking, we're gonna, we've got a really nice approach here, very aggressive approach to save this ash from the emerald ash borer. Uh, a couple of things that we're starting out with, emamectin benzoate, um, a means to administer the product via trunk injection. Plugs, that all goes with the trunk injection. Gotta have some tools for that. Plug setting tool and so on and so forth. A drill, obviously. Got a couple of drills. Beaker for measuring the product itself. In this tub, we've got um, uh, imidacloprid, so we're gonna couple this approach with a soil drench. And before we even do any of that, I'm gonna give it a, a liquid fertilizer application with a Nutroot solution in six gallons of water. This is our tree today. Seth is already working around it with um, a rake it looks like, clearing around the base, <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, you can see it's still got tons of life, but there's also a lot of, a lot of dieback from the emerald ash borer. Alright, so we cleared around, we've cleared around the tree a lot and we're making some trenches. So I'm going to start with a Nutri-Root application. This is really good stuff. It stimulates, it stimulates the roots, it encourages more uptake of water, it, in, it increases tree vigor. It's a liquid fertilizer, essentially. But it's got a little bit more than just nitrogen and stuff. Um, so Seth's been working on getting some prominent trenches in here. We've been trying to rip out the ivy as best we can. There's a lot of ivy, but I'm gonna start. This is six gallons worth, and woo! And uh, we're starting with this so that it'll hopefully just kind of boost these roots to encourage more uptake and help the stress of the tree overall during hot weather because the bug is really killing it. Um, this will help it out a lot. And then after this we're going to do the trunk injection. Then that gives us time to settle out. And then we'll do, we'll finish with an imidacloprid soil drench as well. You about good on that side? Okay, we're waiting to tap these in so that we can find them later, but we're going around the trunk and making ports for the, uh, for the insecticide. Yeah, Seth just made a joke that I'm the chemistry teacher. <laughs> so we're mixing the product right now. This is emamectin benzoate. Really the most effective thing for treating the ash trees for the EAB. And this is a large diameter tree, so we're using quite a bit of uh, this chemical. Very expensive stuff though. When I tell clients how much it will be to treat their tree, they, they're kind of surprised. But I will say it's a lot cheaper than having to remove the tree. And uh, if you don't get your ash tree treated very quickly, in this area, the death wave is already going through. Ash trees are just dying by the hundreds. And, um, but there are a lot that are still alive. So, so check your property. If you have an ash tree, get it treated. Doesn't have to be from us, just get it treated. Otherwise, 
you're gonna lose it. So, all right. Anyway, so we've got the product here. 300 milliliters for this large diameter tree. Beautiful tree. And we're gonna load the, um, we're gonna load it into the syringe. And we're gonna go from there. It's gonna take a minute to get this uptake. There was just water in it before. But anyway, um, let's try to get some of this. You can see the blue coming up. And I'm just purging air. There it goes. All right, it's gonna start filling in. Okay, just wanna get a little bit of that, just purge that. Purge that air, hopefully I can just get a full, no air bubble. Here it comes into my syringe. No air bubble, all right. So we're gonna go around and basically just keep injecting five milliliters at a time. Go around three times. So we got 20 plugs, so five milliliters into 20 plugs is 100, so we go around three times. Here we are at the injection ports. Seth just gave this one a little love tap for us. Did you tap that in into the hardwood? Yeah. Okay. So we insert our syringe into our plug and then we simply depress the plunger and we're keeping count. This is number three of 20. Okay. Now I'm going to hold the plunger. And then I'm gonna, I, I like to hold it straight up and then let the plunger come back. And that has helped so far that that's the best way I've found to keep air bubbles from coming in. So, no air bubbles. So now he's gonna set another one. One, two, three. Did you set that one already? Yeah, did you set that one with the hammer? It needs set. Okay, so we finished injecting our triage G G4 amamectin benzoate. Um, we drilled a few extra plugs just to really help get that product more evenly dispersed. Um, but uh, now uh, we're gonna double this up with another approach, which is a soil drench of imidacloprid. So this is a really aggressive approach. The amamectin benzoate should be enough, but this'll be a second mode of action, a second um, mode of application as well. Instead of being injected into the vascular tissue, this one's gonna be absorbed through the roots. Um, we already did a soil drench with the fertilizer, but by now it's hopefully been absorbed and bound, bonded to the roots. And um, so my hope is that applying that beforehand will, will actually help with this uptake too. Pre-mixed all this just for the size of the tree. And it's as simple as mixing with water and... Uh, pouring into a trench. The thicker the mixture though, the more it looks like milk. If you pour lower to the ground, then you don't have as much splash. But it looks like milk with cereal. That's what we need, some cereal, you know? All right, and that's it. That's where this tree is gonna hopefully recover. Um, it's definitely in serious decline the the bug has already started doing a number on it that's why we're worried about the vascular tissue being a little compromised but um i see enough of a canopy that's alive that i think it's definitely worth trying definitely worth trying to save this tree so that's why that's what we're doing